right, so this is James, and this is for cold school, and I hope y'all are doing well today. We're building some uh, solar closed-loop 12-volt air conditioners, and uh, this one here is just a project I'm building for a, an invisible air conditioner, which all the boxes and the components, the uh, ice box, everything will be clear, so you can actually see the way everything works and flows, the wiring, the tubing, the uh, radiators and everything. This one's the one I use as my little emergency. This one's actually open loop. I might make it closed loop, but I use this one all the time. And uh, actually, so, well, this actually will cool a, a about a hundred square foot room. So uh, it cools a eight by 12 room and uh, with that unit so depending on how much ice you have so I used, used to use it on a bigger ice chest and so we're building a uh, close these three are going to be closed loop here and this one here I think I've shown y'all before maybe last week or so it's kind of rough right now so when you uh, look inside here this is just for props to hold that up so I can make some measurements. So the ice uh, container will go here and uh, there'll be a radiator or copper tubing inside and a fill point and cap it off. It'll be closed loop and uh, be good to go. And the 12 volt uh, switch. And then on this one will be the same way except uh, this one, uh, because of the handle here, I put the uh, controller on the front and the wiring through here. And there's your power port. To, uh, I think it's a 2.1 millimeter uh, barrel plug. On this one, I'm going to put the uh, uh, speed box controller on the other side where it's not visible, at least from that side, because the handles are on the end. And on the inside which will also be closed loop the uh, hole like this of course this will be rectangular this was just a four inch hole saw it's a, just a quick experiment for airflow to test that this one here the hole will be on the end and with a small ice container on the inside and then it'll uh, be just like the other one and it'll be a fill point and it'll be closed loop with a radiator or a copper tubing inside and this one will be just like that one except i'm probably oops, there you go sorry about that folks i'm putting the uh speed box on the back side of this also so it's not visible from here and so on this one i am planning to possibly put two fans i'm just going to leave one for now what i'm going to do is build another one just like it with two fans and I'll put the radiator here and another one here and uh, put one fan side by side blowing one way and blowing the other way and this one has the ice container also inside and there'll be a fill point high point to fill the water to for the closed loop system and that's about it so we're getting ready to make some closed loop uh, air conditioners and these are good for Tiny homes, uh, van life, uh, RVs, pets. If you have a R uh, pet you have to leave in your RV if you're at a campsite. Um, even for health reasons, for patients uh, at home health care, if you're in India or the Philippines or even in the Middle East where it's really hot. And uh, these are not swamp coolers. These are air conditioners. And uh, hope you all enjoy. I'm going to uh, be putting these together real soon. And give you a bird's eye view so y'all have a great day solar powered diy air conditioners